In this video, I will demonstrate how you can draft your wastewater piping. First of all, you can have the slope indication for your pipe. To do so, and it is not active by default, you come to the menu view and then you activate the option show slope. Okay, now let's start by uh, drafting the pipe. I will, uh, I will activate the function pipe and I will position it where I would like to start this pipe, which is in uh, inside this installation wall close to the WC. First, we define where this pipe starts from and it will start in the story below. Next, we define the pipe type. In the medium, we select here wastewater. Below, in the medium drop down list, I will select domestic wastewater. And we can also select a material type. The, uh, the, the material types that enable the slope is the ones that have wastewater in the description. So I will select this wastewater HT. And then I can select from the size drop down list a diameter nominal. I will select this size of 100. Okay. And I will click OK. Since this pipe comes from the story below, I have to set a new height and absolute height I will set 1 meter and click OK. Now I will press enter. Since I want to start another pipe from another location, I want to start it from close the wash basin here. Uh, we see the pipe start gets the same uh, last setup, but in this case now the, it starts from it starts freely, and I will change the start mounting height to 15 centimeters. Uh, the medium are correct, but the pipe now should be 50 diam diameter nominal. I'll just double check if the slope is active or not. We do this in the direction pause tab. We see here the, the checkbox for activate slope. And we also see the slope here is 1 per 100. Okay, it's like 1% slope. And it could go up or down. We, we will see the direction of the slope later. So I'll click OK to start. We see here the indication, this, this arrow indicating the, the direction of the, the, of the slope, which is not correct. We should go up. And, and then go down. So I will right mouse click and we have the option to switch slope. So it up, uh, directly go to the other direction. Okay. Uh, I want to make a bend here, um, like perpendicular to, to this stack. And then I don't have to care about this, this um, angle, but if you want to, to, to make a straight, like 90 degrees bend, you just deactivate the ortho I will use the hotkey F9 okay and then I want I'll come to to this stack because I would like to connect to it we have we see here the the option pipe end it's not the one that I want to to connect is the the mask wastewater okay and then since we have a slope this dialog asks if I want to to make a slope upwards downwards or a perpendicular uh, connection in this case as it should go down, it's a, the, the last option slope downwards, and I'll click OK. OK, um, let's see so far what we did in 3D. OK, so we this is a T here, this is a band, and we see also this 90 uh, degrees band. Let's go back to 2D. What I can do here, I can select only this band. If I right mouse click, I can directly replace by two bands of 45 degrees. Okay. And we see also the indication of the slope. Uh, next, I can start the, the pipe once more, or I could use these fittings, T or transition, but I would just start the pipe again. And then I would like to make a branch over here. We see here that the uh, DDS card already inserts the, the object. And in this dialogue of the T, we can influence and you will see in the background, um, it, it, uh, it refreshes. So I would like to make a connection. So I could, 
let this branch close to this uh, shower base, right? So it should go to the other side, but I would like to make 45 degrees T instead of 90, the branch. So I'll change the angle here to 45 and press tab and we see it's not going to the correct direction. So instead of 45, 100, uh, 135, it goes correctly, okay? We could also change the size of the branch, but this is uh, in this case, it's, it's correct, it's okay. Um, and we also see a checkbox that we can allow um, to, to start drawing the pipe from DC automatically. So I will do it. I'll click OK and then it, I directly start drafting the, the pipe for the branch. And I will let this, this pipe, oh, sorry. We see here the, the, the slope is not correct. So I'll press uh, backspace so I can come back one knot, right mouse click and switch slope. Okay, now we see the slope is correct. And then I will let to the end of this wall and I can press escape, All right? So this is what I would like to draw in, uh, for this wastewater piping at the moment. But uh, we have different uh, ways to, 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 to display the pipe. We can see a single line like this if we come to the menu view, we can use this advanced representation to see in, in a BFLR representation like this. And we can also use a solid view for this. So we can see like this. So it's, uh, it's your call. And uh, let's see in 3D the, the, the end result.